Hey guys, it's TechHog. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be trying to explain up values and constants since it's not something that is explained very well in the sign up socks and it's not something that you'll uh, learn about when you're just kind of uh, learning the basics of Lua. So, um, I like to think of every time you're in a script as it being kind of wrapped in a main function. And so, there's inside of this main function, there's these three locals log, number, and funky. Um, inside of funky, we have a couple of uh, things being happen things um, happening here. Uh, we call log with number and hello world, and then we call one with number. And so I'm gonna kind of explain what log is, what number is, and what hello world is in the terms of up values and constants. So first of all, log is an up value. It's a value from outside of the function scope. See, it, there's no like log equals or anything in here. It actually comes from outside of this function scope, the one above in the main, well, I'm calling it the main, uh, right here, you see log equals print. So pretty much it's just print. But the difference being is that if it's just a word here and there's no um, up value or anything that's referring to, then this becomes a string, which uh, I'll, show, I'll talk to you about in one. Next, there's number, which is the same thing. It's an up value because it's gotten from up here um, sorry for the Discord ping. Um, I'm gonna turn on Do Not Disturb now. Um, anyways, so number you see it's 15. Same thing as um, log. It just kind of it's not defined anything anywhere in Funky. It's actually gotten from outside of the scope in this main. Then there's Hello World. This is different because it is kind of defined here. Um, it kind of be the same thing as doing local a equals Hello World, and then you replace it with a. See how it's kind of defined in this um, function. So it's kind of the um, first time that this value is seen. So uh, how I think of constants, I also think of them as being kind of created in this function because it's not used anywhere else, just right here. So it's a constant. Um, then warn is also a constant, although it's kind of a bit harder to grasp how log is an up value and print or and warn and so would print if I were to do print. I believe um, is a constant, but this is actually because since that there is no um, like there's no outside of the scope, there's no like a local warn or anything like warn equals nothing like that. And same thing here, uh, there's no like warn equals like function, right? Um, so what it does is it isn't defined in Funky or anywhere above it. So when its function is ran, it will try to find warn in Funky's environment. So what it'll do is it'll check this environment to see if it has warn and in that environment includes like the defaults like warn and print and underscore g and that kind of thing so that's how it actually gets this function but it is in fact a constant and it becomes a okay well i don't know why it puts string outside there but thus warn becomes a string and is a constant so warn is a constant logs enough value numbers enough value in hello world is also a constant so if you didn't get any of that i hope um using the cindy bug library will help you um, kind of uh, grasp them a little bit more because it's a little bit complicated and uh, not something that you usually would deal with. So the Sin Debug Library, which I'm calling it the Sin Debug Library because Synapse adds these four functions. Uh, by default, there is get up value and set up value, but Synapse adds these to uh, uh, well, mainly the constant ones, those are very useful as well, but it adds get up values so you can get it as a table, which is uh, quite nice to have. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this warn string and turn it into the string of print. So whenever it finds warn in the environment, it'll actually find print instead. So this will end up calling the print function. So first what we do is we set constants to debug.getConstants. You can drop the debug dot in synapse, since it's just in the... Um, Synapse uh, get env environment. Um, we call it get constants with funky. I'll talk about the uh, function arguments in a minute, but you just know that you have to give it a function um, or a number, which again I'll talk about. So give it a function. So we're getting the constants of this uh, funky uh, function, which should return, which should have hello world and warn, because those are the constants. So then what we do is we get the index of that with table.finds with constants and warn. So it kind of it gets the index of warn if it exists in constants. If it does, then we're going to use debug.setConstant on funky with this index 
to we're going to set it to print. So we're pretty much just replacing the warn with a print. So you see, if you called funky first, it outputs 15 and hello world, and then it warns 15. But now, if you call it, it'll output 15 and hello world, and then output 15 again. I will show you that in game in a second. Okay, so I got the script here. I shortened it down a little bit. You see. It prints 15 and hello world, and then it warns 15. You can see by the yellow text, and then it just prints 15 and hello world again. And then this time, since we replaced warn with print, it actually prints the 15 instead of warning it. Okay, now to up values. Same thing applies to up values using get up values instead of value, um, and also get up value. Although um, I'm not talking about get up value until I go to the um, errors, then I'll kind of explain get up value and get constant. So same thing. Get up values equals debug that get up values funky, and I kept this comment here in accident, but it should be um, that because I just copy and pasted it. That's how um, similar the two are in terms of uh, syntax. So then it finds the finds 15 in the up values, and then if it exists, it'll set that um, to set the up value funky with the index of wherever 15 is to 200. So it goes here. It finds this 15, see how it's a 15, and it sets it to 200. And it does that for both cases, like that. Then you see if I call funky, then it outputs 200 and outputs hello world, which I will show you if I go into game. See, boom, it prints 15, and then once we set the 15 to 200, it starts outputting 200. Very nice, hopefully you should have a better understanding of those now. So we'll go over possible errors. For all of the functions, so get a value, set up value, get a values, get constant, get constants, and set constant. The first argument must either be a function or a number. If it's a function, it has to be a Lua function, not a C function. So you can't do it on like print or warn. Or if you try to get like the meta table of game and try to do an underscore underscore index or a new index on it, those are C functions. So you can't uh, check out the constants and up values of those because they're C functions. Um, because it doesn't expose those um, to Lua, I guess. Um, but if it's numbered, then it will find the function x many levels above in the stack trace, like get debug deck info. So if you know how like if you know how like get femv works, where you can give it a number, or get info works, and you can give it a number, it's the same thing. Um, and then the above rule applies. Then for get a value, get constant, set a value, and set constant. If the second argument passed is not a number, it'll err. Or if it's less than zero or more than the amount of up values or constants, so if it's like not a valid index in the um, in the up values or constants list. So like if a function has like ten up values and you try to find the one hundredth one, it'll area you because obviously it doesn't exist. Um, you can get around the error if you just do like debug that get up values func and then like and exit like that, it'll just return nil if it doesn't exist instead of erroring at you. Uh, then for set constant, if the third argument pass is not the same type as the original up value constant, it will error at you. So you see how warn is a string. If I make it like um, a number like 100, and I try to run this, it'll error saying new constant must be the same type as a previous constant. But it only applies to uh, set constant and not um, set up value. So if you try to set the up value 15 to high, it will still work, which is pretty cool. I didn't actually know about that until recording this video. Um, so that's it. If you have any comments, any questions or anything, leave it in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.